everyone, so today's video is going to be an updated version of my gerbil treats and organisation. So this container is where I keep chips, treats and food, but I have got a little bit <laughs> that won't fit in just because it's just been Christmas. He did get a few new packets of treats and I like to clear out his treats regularly, so throwing old treats, throwing treats that he's not too keen on and things like that but all of the treats he currently has he really enjoys uh, some of them are beneficial and I just don't want to throw some of them because they're not old enough so we've got quite a few at the minute for one little gerbil so I'll go ahead and show you what's in here first and then I'll show you what can't quite fit in the box so this is what Chip's treat container looks like on the inside and realistically I would like this to just be treats and then just to be food underneath but because some of the treats I get him like the dog treats come in such big packets I just have to no choice but to put treats in this section too so in this corner here we've got pumpkin seeds and these are one of his favorites then we have treats from last year's stocking review just here I think they're cranberry and apple but they're Christmassy themed uh, treats and they're green and orange and he likes them a lot so I don't want to throw them out yet either here we have some of the marabone roll things and these are Christmas treats as well that he got in this section here it's kind of a mixture of what little bits are left but I don't want to throw because he enjoys them so we've got some oat sprays we've got a rollini we've got these little wrap pellets that look like that and cheese wedges in the bottom there just here we've got some milk bones and then over on this side now we've got some monkey nuts and these come in a big packet so I've got a lot of these and he loves those, those are another favourite. We've got some more of the Marabone treats here, we've got some walnuts here, these are from last year and um, they've lasted a whole year so I've got a lot of them left. He doesn't get them too often because they are quite fattening but he really enjoys those. These were a Christmas present too and these are the Deli Bake Stars and they've got cheese and beef and these smell so good. They smell like ba smoky bacon crisps and I love the smell of them. It's so bad because they're a dog treat but they honestly smell so good. And then if I take these little compartments out, this is where I store his food and I've actually gone back to the original mix that I do which is the wag with some added little bits and you can see that in my gerbil video, gerbil diet video but um, I did change them onto different foods for a while just to try it out but they're harder to source so I just went back to my original mix because I was happy with it, happy with the contents and happy with how healthy it made him so I just thought it was worth sticking to it. So in here I've got food, I've got some millet sprays, I've got a seed stick he got the other seed, seed stick on Christmas Day and that's still in his cage. He's got a Pets at Home seed star, that was another Christmas present. And then on this side we've got the rest of the treats that don't fit in. So we've got walnuts, we've got monkey nuts and also we've got milk bones just in this corner. And then these are the items that don't quite fit into his treat and food box. So we've got the fruity munchies here from Wilkinson's and someone actually gave me those for the pets for Christmas. Then we've got some cheese bites. I like to keep these separate in their own packaging anyway because they keep fresh and these do say that you need to throw them out. I think it's after four weeks of first opening them. So I don't like to keep these with the rest of the treats. I like to keep them in their own bag and it's resealable so it works fine. Then we've got more Maribone rolls. This was actually the bake the stars, the deli baked stars packet but I didn't know what to do with the rest of these and there's such a strong smell on them that I don't want to mix them in with the rest of the treats so I just put them in this bag because it's resealable and then finally one of his most favourite treats here we've got a huge tub of dried mealworms which are great for protein and he absolutely loves them so that is my updated version of Chip's treat and food organisation, I hope you've enjoyed seeing it and this tub is from the range if anyone wants to know, I always get questions on it because I think it's, it makes quite a good small pet food and treats container so I always get questions on where I got it from, it's from the range, I don't know if they still sell it, I got it quite a long time ago so you'd have to check it out but I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all next time.